spotty here now, especially on this one. That one, the, the hurling stick, we're getting it slowly. All right, it's a feel thing. You've got to be patient with it. Right here, you have to get that back heel off the ground when you're using this one and you use the hurling, uh, the hurdle one. All right, because what happens if your back foot stays flat, when you go to play the shot, what will happen is your leg can't, it's not doing anything. So what happens is my front shoulder spins away and then my hands drop and then the ball goes straight up. All right, if I take this there, then it gets me further in front, more out in front. Does that make sense? This is so important. So almost when you finish the shot, your hips are almost pointing forward. All right, but on the machine, if you're hitting the ball, wherever you hit the ball, your back hip points. So my laces, if I'm hitting the ball through cover, that short ball is wide, bang, that will just point towards cover. All right, if I'm going straighter, bang, my laces come further around. If I'm over here, same thing, they just go to here. My hips are, my hips are square. They don't over-rotate. As soon as I over-rotate, I lose shape. My head goes that way. Okay, so get off your back heel. And remember, your head stays just in front of your belly button. Because if I'm, you know, if I'm a boxer, and I'm a boxer on the ropes, if my head's going back, I'm getting nailed. All right, but if I'm like this, and he's coming at me, I can still, I'm in a position I can still fight back, so it's the same thing. As soon as he runs up and bowls a ball, it's short, my head goes back, I lose control. But if I'm in here, I can bang, I can still get back in it. All right, so your head must stay in front of your body. Right, go around, I think we've got two more changes.